How's it guys? My name is Karen, and I'm just going to show how to use the Google Mock Library. Uh, in the previous video, I showed how to build it. So in the uh, GMock folder here, there's actually the libgmock.a library file. Okay, so now I'm going to show how to use it in code blocks. Um, there are two ways of doing this. I've got an example that I've already made. It's just got some Google Mock code within it. So this is just to make sure that Google Mock actually runs. Um, there are two ways of doing it. You can do it for the specific project, or you can do it for the compiler. Okay, doing it for the project means that only this project will use the Google Mock library, and when you create other ones, it won't look for the libgmock.a library file, right? Um, I did it for the compiler because often I'll be using the Google Mock library, and then um, I don't ever have to specify where the library file is again. Okay, so in the compiler settings, first I'm using the C++11 standard, and also as another option, I'm using the GNU++11 standard. Um, then in the linker settings tab, I used the library file that I've built. So this is the libgmock.a file that was built in the previous video. And then in the search directories, you've got to use the include directory of Google Mock and the include directory of Google Tests. Okay, so in the C drive where I put Google Mock, there's an include folder that's for Google Mock. And in the Google Mock directory in Google Test, there's also an include folder and that's for Google Tests. Okay. You need to add both of those directories to the compiler um, to the compiler directory search, and that's it. So that should be sorted. You should be able to now run um, run the Google Mock example code or whatever code you have. Uh, um, just hash include gmock gmock.h and test to see that that works. And I'll show you now. Everything sorted. It's all working. If I press play, it's all sorted. Um, the other way you can do it is go to project build options and it's exactly the same you basically just you would select in linker settings you would add the .a file in the search directories you'd put um, those two directories and you're all sorted by the way the reason you put it in the search directories um, tab here is because now you use the hash include um, you use the system include so you use hash include and then these um, brackets instead of hash include and the quotation marks so that's why you use the um, you put it as a search directory and that's it thanks have a great day